Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can render a list using iterator in HTML while implementing a lightning web component. So in my previous video, I demonstrated you rendering list using for each loop. So we have two different ways. You can use for each loop as well as you can use a iterator as well. So jumping to Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to implement a new Lightning Web component. So rendering list iterator is the name of Lightning Web component. So JavaScript file is opened. I'm going to open its HTML file. So in this HTML file, I need to implement the code and uh, in JavaScript file, I will be using the custom uh, list that I created in the previous video. So I will be reusing that. So let me first implement the HTML file so that I can show you how we can use the iterator. So I'm implementing lightning card and its title will be rendering list using iterator right so now inside this lightning card i'm going to use an ordered list and applying a class slds hyphen m hyphen around underscore medium so this is lightning design system class that i'm using and inside this i'm going to use a template and where i'm writing iterator colon it equals to and then contacts and i'm closing this template so what is happening here this context is basically a list and this list i am going to assign into this iterator whose name will be it right now if you want to fetch something from that list so you will be using this it uh, to fetch the values so here I'm writing list item. So list item, we can write always inside an ordered list. So here, first we need to set the key. So for that, I'm using it.value.id, right? So what is happening here? It is the name of iterator, which will be having all the context. So uh, through that context, like I'm fetching the value and ID I'm assigning into the key. Right. So one by one, it will be processed automatically. And uh, here I am implementing a div. Here I am writing conditional statement that is if colon true. And then I am writing it dot first, then class equals to list hyphen first. And then I'm closing the div. Then after that, I'm writing it.value.name and comma it.value.title. And now I'm going to copy this statement and I'm going to paste it here. So it will be div if true it.last and here I'm writing list hyphen last. So this way I implemented this template and here uh, like I implemented these three statements. So I'm going to explain these now. So basically iterator has uh, this value. So if, if you have implemented iterator, so it will be having this value property. So through this value property, you can fetch like ID, name and title. So these are the list values. Uh, which are available inside the list and list is context. Then another property of this iterator is first. So basically what here uh, we are trying to check whether this item in the list is first item or not. So if uh, this IT iterator is having the first item, so this if colon true will be true and uh, this class will be applied on this div, right? So this div will be rendered if this uh, true will be having true value with the help of this it dot first and uh, similarly we have this div so if iterator is having last value like last value in the list 
So this uh, list hyphen last, this CSS will be applied. So now this is a custom CSS that I'm going to implement after this HTML file, right? So in this video, you will also learn like how we can implement a custom CSS in Lightning Web Component. And inside these uh, divs, like we have one more statement, which is showing name and title. Those are available in the list as a value, right? So this way I implemented the iterator. So again, if I repeat the statement, so context is a list, which will be having items one by one into this IT iterator. So IT is the name of the iterator through which we are getting value through dot value dot ID, value dot name or value dot title. And through this first and last, we are just checking whether iterator is having first record or last record, right? Now I just need to implement the JavaScript file. So JavaScript file I'm copying from here. So I'm just copying this custom list and I'm going to place it here. Right, so this way you can see, uh, this is the first record which is available in the list having ID name and title. Then we have second record which is having ID name and title. Then we have third record which is having ID name and title. And then we have fourth record which is having ID name and title. So total four records are available in this list. So all these are custom uh, that I created here. And this uh, list will be available here in this HTML and that will be rendered on the UI. Now I am going to close this JavaScript file. So this JavaScript file I'm going to save. Now we need to implement a CSS file as well because we are using custom CSS. So what you can do here, we don't have any .css file. So you just need to right click on your component and you can just click on new file. And uh, here you can see under this rendering list iterator, a new file will be created. So I'm naming it as rendering list iterator.css. So this way our CSS file is created and here we can write the code. So if I take you to the HTML, so here we are using this class list hyphen first. So that we need to implement here in this CSS. So if you implement your CSS and uh, you use your CSS block as a class, so always you need to write dot and then your class name, right? So here dot list hyphen first, I'm going to implement. And here I need to write the code. So border hyphen top colon one px solid black so this is css for border so border top will be one pixel solid and color will be black and then i am applying padding for top that is five pixel right now i need to apply one more css class here so it will be like list hyphen last and inside this i am just going to copy and paste these statements so it is also border like here i am writing bottom one pixel solid black and uh, padding bottom will be five pixel so this way you can implement your css file so this is one class that i implemented list hyphen first so uh, before implementing a class so you just need to write dot so it will be automatically treated as a class so uh, I have implemented two blocks here, which are class and uh, those classes I have used here uh, for this div, I, I am using list hyphen first and for this div, I'm using list hyphen last. So this way you can create your custom CSS and you can use this CSS in your HTML file, right? So this way we have HTML, we have JavaScript and we have CSS as well. Now I need to implement meta.xml file so here I am writing true, then targets, target, and I am taking target as home page. I am saving this code. Now the whole component I need to deploy to the org. So here is the component rendering list iterator. So I'm right click, right clicking on this component and selecting deploy source to org. So the whole component will be deployed to the org. 
So it is deployed successfully. So I'm jumping to the org and I'm going to edit the home page. So here you can see uh, we have rendering list through for each component. Now, if I go to left and scroll to bottom, so here I have rendering list iterator. So I'm just placing it after this, right? And clicking on save, moving back. So you will see a slight difference between both. So here we have this horizontal line in the beginning and in the ending. So this is because of iterator. And this is coming because of that CSS we applied, right? So this way, uh, this div is showing a horizontal line uh, before the first record. And uh, this is uh, rendering after the last record, right? And line is available in black color because we applied black color here. If you want to change the color to red, so that will be applied. So I just changed it. And I'm rendering, sorry, I'm deploying it again from source to org. And once it is deployed, I just need to refresh the page. So here you can see now these lines are in red color. So this way, if you want to apply CSS on your Lightning Web component, so you can create these CSS classes and you can just use those classes with your elements, those you implement in your HTML file. So this is all about how you can render your list with the help of iterator in Lightning Web Component.